Hey guys, it's Frantos. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be doing a review, building, and installment of the Vivo Dual Monitor Desk Mount. Um, the point of getting a desk mount is that I don't have uh, a lot of space on my desk. I have a limited space because of my room size, but I'm trying to make space with what it is. And so I decided that buying a desk mount will provide me the more space that I need and also to get uh, rid of the clutter on my desk. So right now I actually sold my monitor earlier today to one of my friends. So I can't really play video games or use two monitors for my videos or studying but I will be showing you where I'll be putting it. And I think tomorrow my monitor should come, one of them. I'm not sure when I'll order the second one because I wanna save some money, but we'll see where it goes. Maybe I'll find a sale. But right now my desk, as you can tell, is pretty messy. My PlayStation controllers, my PlayStation camera. Um, right now it seems like a clutter, but I should be cleaning it before I finish this video. So bear with me, I'm sorry. Um, right now, um, the pieces are everywhere, like for example, the arm and the actual uh, <clears throat> tools that I need to build it. But um, I read some reviews, saw some reviews. They said it shouldn't take too long to actually build it. So we'll see how it is. I'm not going to make a time lapse because I didn't make a room tour yet. It's not that big, but I do have some uh, things hidden from the camera for my privacy and my protection. But... Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll be back shortly. And we're back. So it took me two to three hours to actually clean my room. I fixed my desk. I fixed the mount. I had to remove some things under the desk to actually uh, fit the mount in, in the center of my desk. So let's get to it. My desk is way cleaner than it was a while ago. Here's a little desk setup, my laptop, my wireless mouse my keyboard that isn't attached right now i'm planning to save up for pc soon my wrist rest my notebook and pencil with whatever i write sometimes with homework or my thoughts my wireless charger that charges my gaming headset and sometimes my phone my phone holder my jukebox my cologne and my two controllers with my face cam so to actually get back on track with the video i'll be talking about the mount it took me probably 15 minutes max to set it up it just took me quite longer, wait, quite longer time, or um, I'll edit that part out, sorry. The mount wasn't hard to build, it just took longer because I didn't look at the actual instructions. So that was on me, but once I did, it was way quicker than I thought it would have been. The only downside I had to it at first was that the place where you actually put your monitors on, it was slanted and I, was, I thought that it was a defect. But if you actually put the monitor holder on top inside it, you can actually adjust by moving it forcefully with your hand and not worrying about breaking it. So for $39, this is a pretty good steal for a dual mount because there's so many things that come with it, including uh, cable management. It, uh, it'll go with the, U the HDMI wires into the back of the monitor. It comes with flexibility. This can go up like this, down, however you want it. The arms can move backwards, as you can tell. Uh, it's pretty stable. It won't move. You can tighten it. And at the back, it's a new feature that I haven't seen before. It actually is an Allen screw holder. And then in the middle is actually a, a wire for wire management. You can move it up, move it down. It's just a clip. You can unclip it but it does hold the tools that you need to keep this steady so that's pretty cool i've never seen a product hold something like this but um i don't have anything else to say for 39 dollars. this is a really good thing to buy for your setup if you're looking for more space if, or for more or to be more organized so the one thing i had to do with my desk was to actually move the uh oh you can't see um here Let's find a way to actually, here. Um, so the wire management looks messy right now, but I did my best to fix it. It was way messier a while ago. I suck with wire management because I don't know why. I've always tried to get better, but each time it feels like it gets messier and messier. So I use this, these uh, wire tires to actually tie everything up, try to get it organized. So at least now it's running one way 
where everything that goes one direction is tied up together where it won't uh, unscramble. So I'll fix more before my wires, my monitors come in. But I did want to do that before they came in because I felt like I would get lazy. So this won't be a video where I'll just stop and record. But I won't actually post this until I have my first monitor set up. That Then I'll show if it's stable enough where it won't shake and uh, imbalance it Then my, when my second monitor comes. But of course, I'll do a review when both come in separately. So I'll probably have two, maybe three videos before I actually post this video. I'll be editing, editing this, but I hope this comes out by the end of the week. If not, um, I have some ideas to do. I have to clean my mom's shoes, so I'll show the process of me cleaning shoes. But yeah, I have nothing else to say. I'll be back once my monitor comes in tomorrow. And thank you for sticking by. Hey guys, it's Fantos. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. This will be two types of videos. The first one will be my part two to my mounting video, which I still haven't had the time to really finish because the monitors haven't come in. But for this video specifically, this is the review of the Dell, um, the Dell monitor. I forgot the name because it's been a week since I ordered, but it's the S24 One HGF. It's a 24 inch. And before we get to the video, I want to say thank you for all the support you guys been giving me. I'm at 261 subscribers. I keep track of every uh, subscriber that goes up or down because to me it's not numbers. It just means that people are watching me and people do care about my content. So thank you guys. Um, I'll never let the numbers get to the head, especially since you know I'm. I want to stay humble. So each subscriber means a lot to me. They're like a part of my family. So to continue with this video, I want to say that I had a panic attack because I was in the shower. I woke up late at like around 1 p.m. So when I was in the shower, my mom came in the door and I was like, oh my gosh, like obviously I'm showering. But then I don't care because like I'm not insecure about anything. You know, my mom has been watching me since I was a baby. So she walked in. She was like, oh, your monitor got uh, picked up. I'm like, oh, you picked it up? And she was like, no, because someone actually picked it up. Like someone accepted the door. I was like, I checked my ring app while I was in the shower and no one came to my door since my mom came home. So then my mom was like, yeah, someone else picked it up. So my mom was the goat because she's the best. She called UPS and told them what happened. So the guy, the delivery guy uh, came back. He went to the house, picked up the monitor and then dropped it off at our house. Apologies. I said, it's no problem uh stuff happened so i'm not gonna be mad my mom also what's it called accepted it from him while i was still in the shower but that was a mini story um i was really surprised i thought at first that maybe they accepted it to drop it off our house because it happened before to some other uh person but then this guy it's been like three hours and they still haven't dropped it to our house so uh i'm kind of upset about that because that means if my mom didn't call it the U ups guy didn't go back they would have kept the monitor that I paid for so but uh, we got back so that's the most important thing here's the box it's on its side which it, which it shouldn't be but I'm, I'm hoping it's secured the box kind of looks uh, destroyed but I'm hoping that it did protect the inside so uh, give me a second I'll open it I might cut some parts out because this might take long um hold on. where is my knife uh, oh right here so here i'll also put this higher so you guys can see my face clearly um here we go so it said that we have to lay this flat okay i'll cut it open so uh they didn't open it so that's a good sign here, here's the instructions. It says, uh, don't leave the flap on the floor. So here we go. Oh, I'm gonna lay it down. That was kind of fast. That scared me. What? Oh, okay. Uh, the box seemed kind of missing. So that's why I was panicking. Look, so. Here's the instructions. I'm not sure if I can focus this because this is on the GoPro. Uh, you don't really need to see me do that. Here's the box. That's why I was like, what? Because look, there's so much cardboard space that maybe I was uh, missing something. It comes with an HDMI, which is really helpful. Um, the power cord, I'm guessing. 
we had the power cord to actually connect the monitor to the electric source here's i think the warranty the base but since i have a mount i won't be using the base it's pretty heavy though so i'm i'm pretty sure it's secure and it's metal too so here's the actual bad boy we take out the cord cardboard protecting it um it oh this is the part two of the stand which i won't also be connecting to it um i'll be opening it to see how it looks like though sorry for the mess in the left that's the screws for my mount and here's the actual monitor first i have to take it out yeah here hold on Oh, it's actually quite heavy. Mm. And here we are. Uh, I thought it was curved. It kind of looked curved. That's why I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. But here's the actual monitor. Dell, um, I'll build this first to show you guys how it really is i'm gonna look at the menu first or not the menu the instructions to see if i have to connect anything i'm guessing not yeah this is the dell s2421 hgf it runs at 144 hertz which is perfect for pc if you're starting off or if you're not playing competition wise and it's also good for um for ps5 the new gens because they cap at 120 hertz so it's pretty good let's see let's see I'm guessing I don't have to put the stand, um, the wire, yeah, hmm, okay, so, let's figure this out, I'm gonna take the Vivo stand instruction, actually put this on, hmm, Okay, so here we go. It feels like it's a little. Oh, that's a that's a ventilation. Okay. So do I unscrew that? Here, we'll actually get all the materials first. Perfect. The screws fit. Uh. Um, excuse me, sorry. Um, this is flat back monitor, so I just need N. Can you on this N? And is it done? Okay. So I need four of these screws to put in the bag. Okay. That's two. Let's see. And here's the first one. So, oh, uh, with this dual video, uh, this is new to me because then I have to edit it. But then I kind of got inspiration from streamers where they took their stream and cut it off and put it in a video. So I want to see if this works out. Um, if it doesn't, this will be the only video like that. Well, technically too, because I have my second monitor coming tomorrow. Um, let's actually set this up though. Oh, one, two, three, four. All right. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'll show. I'll kind of show where you put the screws in. I have to unscrew these four there. Uh, I think this is the. Oh, it's fine. It's not a huge problem. I'm not gonna look at the back anyway. But I'll be back, boys and girls. Sorry, I'm just used to saying that to my friends. I'll be back. Give me a second. Hey guys, so I unscrewed the screws that originally came with the package and now I'll be screwing on the screws that come with the mount. Uh, sorry for the lighting I'm doing on top of my bed because I have no space on my table right now. But give me a second, I'll come back when I'm on my last screw. Okay, here we are, back to the video. I'm just making them tight. I, use, I just uh, used my hand to screw them in, but now I'm going to use the screwdriver to tighten I'm going to make sure that it I won't force it in like that it stopped right there this one can't get in a notch 
Um, give me one second. Okay. Uh, once it stops, I'm gonna force it like that. The third one stop right there, and the fourth one it's still going. Nope, stop right there. So now, before I actually set this up onto the mount stand, I'm gonna uh, fix the wiring issues first, so I won't have to deal with the issue later. So I'll be back. So quick note for the mounting video. This isn't like the other Dell monitor that I got yesterday where it had screws in already. So uh, it's a quick step easier for me to actually do the screw instead of unscrewing it. But it's the same steps where I use these screws specifically made by the brand to twist in first using your hand then using your screwdriver. What uh, the other contents that came with the mount is the spacers a long nail and um, a metal washer which is inside there the reason I, i'm not using any of those is because this isn't a curved monitor using a curved monitor will need extra steps so that's why they came with it to actually help set it up but this one is easy since it's a flat back so i'll do the screws and i'll show you guys when i'm almost done so it wasn't a huge problem like yesterday it was actually pretty fast um, I know I say actually a lot. I don't know why. It's just like a lingo to me, some sling. So the first screw, obviously you're supposed to tighten, but once you your screwdriver just lifts off like that, you stop so you don't damage the inside of the monitor. Um, this should be an easy... Yeah, see? So yesterday it was harder to put on the monitor mount because the Dell's monitor the where you put the back of the mounting it was inside the monitor instead of like this how it was outside it was concave so this one is an easy slip on and i hope i can show you guys that um i can't use one hand to record but let me see if i can use it here um yeah okay here i hope this stays up all right, so first we're gonna extend this away from my second monitor to avoid any scratches and damages. Move up my ring light. Make sure all the things for the monitor is tight, the screws. So basically you just slide this in. And I don't know why I'm having trouble right now doing that. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not sliding all the way through. It's because it's falling. Okay. It's normal to be like that. You're supposed to tighten after. So here, there's a screw that you're supposed to tighten up so this doesn't fall off. Bless you. So you just do it hand tight. No reason to make it as tight as you can. And now we're going to set it up. So now we have a kind of a problem because this is a little too big. We're gonna move this monitor just a little like that and move this back. It's a tad bit heavier than the other monitor, so I'm gonna make this tighter. This screw, um, they provide you with the Allen screws, so the service there is pretty good. So you lift this up from the bottom and how you want to keep it then you put the key here and let's say I want to keep it angled so you make it tight like this so then it'll have more stability and more security there we go and look now it's not falling through oops we unloosen it just a bit make sure it's to our liking which is right there yep and now you tighten it um, I can't really see how it looks like right now because it's off so we'll do some quick adjustments and I'll show you the final project hey guys this is the final part for the uh, sorry mounting video this took over four days due to the mount coming early me setting up me building it and me actually setting up the monitors on top this setup for the mount is probably an 8 out of 10 it's easy 
but there are parts that get tricky and sometimes you do get frustrated because at sometimes i wanted to just like stop and chill for a bit not because it was hard but uh some of the configuring the tools and the mechanics did get confused and sometimes when like the first time i put my monitor i thought i had it tight enough my, the whole thing fell and i caught the monitor last second but after that there's no issues that was user fault but still they could make it a little uh more what's it called more thorough the instructions of just putting photos but yeah it came with every parts you can tell inside the cup it came with spaces like i mentioned in the last part it came with the um metal wash extra screws just in case your monitor needs to but yeah the the instructions were clear it could have been better but it, it could have been worse too so the monitor i showed you the back already it's quite flexible it's holding both monitors i think this one is probably 10 pounds and this is probably like five pounds but i kept on extending and extending out extending in you can twist you can twist up so i recommend this then especially if you're starting up with your new setup especially if you just have two monitors or one it's good because it saves space back then uh, you can tell my old videos I had to move my monitor because the stand was there and I couldn't just pull the monitor closer to me and pull back. So I really like this mount setup. It's the Vivo dual monitor desk mount again to just reiterate just in case I did forget because this will be a longest video. I'll try to see if I can spend two parts. If not, uh, it is what it is. I'll try to lessen it next time, but uh, it's pretty good. You don't have to keep it as close as I do, I just like it because of the aesthetics. But it does save me space on my table. Now it's not as cluttered. I move my laptop. The wiring issues I'll fix on my own time. That's different. But otherwise, now I have free stuff to do. I don't have to move anything around to do assignments. So I recommend this. It was only 39 but with the Amazon deal at the time it was 34 so 34 for something that can hold up to two monitors safely, save you space, and also just make your desk look nicer, it's worth the price. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please tune in. Thank you for all the support. I'm not sure when this will be uploaded. I'll try my best to upload it by the end of this week. So today's the what? Today's the 25th, so I have until the 28th, 29th to upload this, but it's no rush. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I hope I have more content for you guys this weekend and maybe next week because I think I'm going to go out with my family. I'm not sure yet. But thank you guys so much for always showing love and support. Um, I can't really say anything. My The subscribers are going up, which means that there's more people in my family adding every day. And each person in that family means a lot to me. So, um we're close to we're not close to the giveaway but we're getting closer so i'll get everything set up i have i'll link my email my uh business email so you guys can ask me any questions and that's the best way to reach me so thank you for coming and i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you i love you guys